Welcome to question number 12 from the June 2016 Algebra Regents exam. In this question, we're looking for the zeros of the function f of x equals x squared minus 5x minus 6. Now, zeros are just another word for the x-intercepts. And to find the x-intercepts of a quadratic function like this, the trick is to simply factor it. So I'm going to write out x squared minus 5x minus 6. And I always like to show that the factored form of a quadratic like this is going to look like two sets of brackets being multiplied together, where the uh, x will be in the front, and then the numbers we put in the second section, um, we know that they need to multiply to get us negative 6, and they have to add to get us negative 5. So at the top of my head, I can think of 2 and 3, because I know 2 times 3 gets us 6, and 2 and, five, uh, 2 and 3 can also get us 5. Oh, actually, that won't work, though, because um, 2 and 3, in order to multiply those together to get negative 6, one of them would have to be negative. So if we had negative 2 plus 3, um, that would get us 1, or um, 2 plus negative 3 gets us negative 1. So that actually doesn't work. So... The other two numbers we could multiply to get negative 6 are 6 and 1. In fact, if we had negative 6 and positive 1, if we added those, we would get negative 5. So those are the two numbers we're looking for, negative 6 and positive 1. So I'm going to write them in our brackets here, negative 6 and positive 1. And um, to find the zeros, we want to set this equation to be equal to 0. And what that means is we want x minus 6 to be equal to 0 or x plus 1 to be equal to 0. And that's because when you multiply two numbers together, if you want to get an answer of 0, one or both of those num um, things that you're multiplying has to be 0, of course. So if x minus 6 equals 0, that means x has to be 6. And if x plus 1 equals 0, that means x has to be negative 1. So those are our two zeros, 6 and negative 1, which is the first option. That's it for this video. Thanks for visiting JD's Regions Preparation.